My name is Toshia. It's been a few years since I've dated my girlfriend, Yuki. We were engaged and about to get married. Or so I thought. However, this was all ruined. Why, do you ask? Well, that's because she was bringing a man into my apartment with a spare key she had made on her own. I'd finished work early that day and headed home. The door was unlocked. Crap! I forgot to lock the door! I opened the front door when I noticed a pair of man's shoes that I'd never seen before. Right next to Yuki's heels. I ran into the living room and saw that there were clothes scattered about the living room and two bags. From the bedroom, I could hear those sounds. If I think about it now, I must have been fairly panicked. I grabbed all their clothes and their bags and walked out of the house. I put it all in the car and checked inside the bag to see who it belonged to. I found a business card with the name of a CFO of a nearby company. Yuki had talked about how she had reunited with a college club friend. Is it this guy? I took the stuff and drove to the CFO's company, intent on returning him his belongings. Sorry for the sudden visit. Is the CFO around? The front desk lady softly smiled and responded, he is currently out of office. How can I help you? Actually, I have his stuff. I came here to drop it off, but... She looked confused, so she stood up and looked down. Thank you. We appreciate it. Sorry. I opened the bag to see who it belonged to. Also, there's quite a bit of clothing here. Including some women's clothing. Thanks. Oh, um, sorry. Let me go get the CEO for you. She wasn't expecting the women's clothing, let alone underwear. She wasn't smiling anymore. Oh, it's okay. I'm sure he's busy. Hang on. I'll go get him right away. She took off to the back after leaving me with those words. When she came back, she had looked furious and led me to the conference room. I apologize for taking your time, sir. It's okay. My CFO is actually engaged to my daughter. I was hoping I could get some details from you. He was a heavy-set man dressed in what looked like an expensive suit. The employee you just saw was my daughter, the CFO's fiancé. Oh, I apologize for being so rude. Oh, don't be like that. It seems like we were the ones causing you more trouble. So... I heard you have some of his belongings. I put all of the possessions on the table and showed them. A bag, the top and bottom of a suit, a button-up shirt, socks, shoes. Also this underwear belonging to a woman, so it's probably hers. I apologize. I don't think they belong to me. The woman who is staying behind us quietly responded. Oh, was this his then? It was all mixed together, so I really couldn't tell whose was whose. What was left was a woman's tank top, skirt, heels, a pink bag, and black male underwear. The CEO and employee became red with rage. So, where did you say you found these? I answered calmly. I found them a second ago. They were thrown all over my living room. But I figured the owner would be looking for them, so I came by here. Um, where is your house? The employee stepped in closer. I live in a mansion near your company. I apologize for being intrusive, but would it be possible to go to your house? I don't know. My house is a mess right now. I don't know if I can have someone come in. She slammed the desk next to her. Right now! Oh, okay! I was honestly a little scared, so I just nodded. About 30 minutes after I picked everything up, I headed back home with the CEO and his daughter in tow. When I unlocked the front door, I could hear those sounds coming from the rooms in the back. They must have been having a marathon. Excuse me. She walked right past me and straight to my bedroom. With no hesitation, she opened the door. What the hell are you two doing? What? What are you doing in someone else's house? He was pulling up the sheets to cover his body. 
I slowly stepped in. Sir, you said this was someone else's house. I actually live here. When did you start paying rent again? Uh, uh, mm. Oshia, there's an explanation for this. This is that and why, why, why? She was talking to me with tears in her eyes. Yuki, don't worry. I called your parents for you. Hang on. I grinned and informed her, and she lost all color in her face. You! The CEO finally showed up, and was angry beyond reason. D dad this isn't what it looks like! This, this is a, a, a honeypot! She tricked me! I'm the victim here! What? Can you shut up? You're gonna make me puke. She shut him up fairly quickly. Yuki's parents showed up as soon as we were all about to throw down. It took them a second to realize what was going on, but they immediately started apologizing. Toshia, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. You two had nothing to do with it. Please, stand up. You two were already engaged. You had the wedding plan too. It's okay. I'll call off the engagement and cancel the wedding. You're kidding! Why would you do that? You even said you protect me forever! She had managed to say those disgusting words. I felt so dumb. Yuki's mother didn't say a word and got up to slap her. I had no idea what she was screaming, but she wouldn't stop. Behind me, the CEO was chewing out the CFO. Uh, guys, please, handle your business on your own later. My neighbors are going to start complaining. I'd been the calmest one there. Maybe they forgot my existence. They all fell quiet. Sir, I'm sorry for being pushy, but is it possible for us to use your conference room that we were in a second ago to talk about everything? Uh, of course. All right, then 6.30 tomorrow, we'll go after all your employees have gone home. Thank you. Uh, uh The man spoke in a weaselly voice. Yes? My clothes are in the living room. My clothes too. Oh, I left them at your company conference room. What? The CEO called someone quietly, and someone showed up a few minutes later with all of their stuff. Everyone was silent, and I'm sure it was living hell to them. The next day, we all spoke with lawyers between us and concluded that Yuki would pay me several tens of thousands. She would also compensate me at least 40k for the wedding cancellation fees. The CFO would pay me 30k and buy my mansion off me. I was planning on living with Yuki there, but because this happened, I have no regrets. The CFO and his fiance, of course, broke off their engagement. He also lost his job and was chased out of the company. Man, people are so scary. I, of course, was shaken by the whole event, but I was getting over it. Next time, I would find a partner that I could defend my whole life. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button!